Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures, and today we're going to be talking about something exciting. It's a brand new e-trike that has piqued my interest, and I want to share it with you. Now, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I have a significant interest in e-trikes, primarily because it wasn't that long ago that my wife started expressing an interest in being able to get back outside again and to be able to go riding with me. She has some limitations that prevent her from doing that, and she experiences a lot of pain. And so we started looking for what we were hoping to find, you know, the, the perfect trike that would be good for her, that would be right for her to help her get out and enjoy the outdoors along with me when I go on many of my adventure rides. I learned a few days ago about yet another brand new trike that is about to hit the market, and it came out today. So I jumped online, was able to start looking at all the specs, and this is a smaller, more compact trike, much like the electric, only in my opinion, much, much better. Okay, and I'm talking about the AdMotor E310. AdMotor is a brand that's been around for a while. They already produce four or five different style of e-trikes, okay? So this isn't new to them. They've been doing this for a while, but this I believe to be the first smaller compact trike that they have. And it's at a price point that is still a little higher than the electric at $14.99. Add motor comes in at $19.99. But for that $500 difference, you get so much more trike. And I think it's going to be overall a much better quality where we're not going to have to worry about break, it breaking down and giving us trouble. So let's take a look at the E310 and let's talk about that a little bit. We'll compare it just a little bit with the electric. And who knows? There might be a third trike uh, in, our, in our new future coming in here to e-bike reviews. So let's jump on the computer and take a closer look. All right, guys, so here we go. We're on the AdMotor website, and they got this advertisement here bouncing around. They, they say it's the world's best electric trike for 2023, under $2,000. And that's because there's not a lot of electric trikes uh, out there right now under that price point. But you know what? Let's just jump in there, take a look at it. It looks amazing right there in that picture, doesn't it? All right, so let's just take a look here. Uh, a couple things right away. First of all, be aware, this trike isn't going to ship until September, so we're uh, just a few weeks out, uh, but it is priced at $19.99, which I think is amazing. Uh, they're saying it's a $2,800, you know, almost $2,900 value. I don't know if we'll ever see that price. I just released a video talking about sales price and gimmicks uh, that e-bike companies use, so who knows, uh, you know, what the price is going to be after this promotional period. It, it may go up. Nobody knows. Um, but that's the trike. Now, first glance, it looks a lot like the, uh, the Electric XP, doesn't it? Uh, it's just a smaller compact trike, smaller tires, uh, easy step through right here, um, you know, big comfort saddle. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at this in just a moment. There's not uh, any pictures. I mean, this is the only picture we have, but we can zoom in on it. So we'll get to that in a moment. Interesting thing about this particular trike is that it comes in two versions. There's a mini version and a standard version. The only difference is the tire size. We'll get to that in a moment. Look here though, it comes in multiple colors. You got gray, you got a forest green, you got a yellow, uh, some kind of blue, and a red. Uh, my preference out of all these colors is probably gonna be, you know, stick with like the gray. Just don't care for those bright primary colors over there. Uh, oh, and if for some reason this uh, trike interests you, be aware that they do offer financing through a firm. Um, you know, they're saying $125 a month, uh, you know, might be make it more affordable for you if you can't swing two thousand dollars to get a trike. I don't know. Uh, that's for you. Uh, you decide. Let's uh, scroll on down here. Uh, they do have some promotional uh, things right here. If uh, for people who buy it on the eighth, the, the day that it comes out, which is today. I don't know if this video is going to get out in time. Uh, you get two free baskets with it. Uh, the ninth through the tenth, you're going to get one basket or mirrors. The eleventh through the fifteenth, you're going to get one basket and a pump. A little promotional thing there. Hey, look, they did a really good job here of comparing it with the electric and the rad power bike. I'm going to get back to that in just a moment. Uh, well, I just want to swing down here and talk about a few other things real quick. So we're going to talk about specs. What makes this trike so much better than uh, electric and rad and, and some of the other ones out there, okay? Uh, right off the bat, boom, it's a UL certified battery, 20 amp hour. Uh, nice big battery, which is exactly what I, I'd like to see there. They're saying 90 mile range, expect about half that realistically. So I'm hoping for maybe a 50 mile range, 40, 50 mile range for the strike. 
it's a 750 watt high torque motor yes guys huge selling point right here this motor has 90 newton meters of torque 90 newton meters the electric xp only has 65 the bison pro which i purchased is came shipped as uh, with 65 newton meters we had to upgrade the controller in order to get it to 80 newton meters of torque your torque is important because that's what helps you get up a hill it helps what gets you through uh, grass or even some rough terrain so the fact that they put a motor on here with 90 newton meters of torque is just it's almost insane it's almost over the top so and that brings a concern for if you know people who are seniors or people with limitations is it going to be too powerful of a bike we don't know i'm hoping all that can be controlled in the lcd display because sometimes they allow you to you know, throttle things back a little bit and give you some control and i'm hoping that's the case because otherwise it, it, it may be too powerful for a lot of people uh the, it's got a rear differential similar to the electric xp so what that means each back wheel spins independently so it makes it more stable when you're turning uh, it's got it's an aircraft grade aluminum. It does have a parking brake system on the handlebars, which is great. Here it comes as a standard and a mini version. The standard version has a 20 inch front tire, mini 18. 18 for the rear back here, 16 over here for the mini. That's the only difference in these two. The same frame size, same everything else, just the tires. And the reason they put lower or smaller tires on it is because it lowers the trike a couple of inches and just makes it a little more accessible for people who might be smaller or people with you know maybe more severe uh, disabilities so good on them for giving people those two options right there now they're saying we're looking at the standard version here the 310 and they're saying that the maximum rider height is 59 guys that that can't possibly be right because uh, this is very similar in size uh, than the electric xp and the electric XP comes rated at 6.4. A person six foot four inches could ride it. I'm six one, and I can ride the electric XP just fine. So I'm thinking that um, you know, don't let that be a turnoff. If you're six one, you know, like I am, or are even a little bit taller, you should be able to ride this bike no problem. This bike is actually about seven inches longer than the XP, so it's even going to give you a little more room here. So yeah, it shouldn't be any issue at all. Um, and look, it's got a load capacity of 280 plus 100 pounds. I'm guessing 280 for the rider, maybe 100 pounds for cargo. They don't really specify. UL certified Samsung battery. Boom, that's, uh, that's important. You don't see too many UL certified batteries, but Ad Motor does that for all their trikes. And uh, yeah, 20 amp hour, huge, love it. Here it is, the motor. It's the, uh, I think it's Ad Motor branded but 750 watt it peaks at 1400 watts that's huge that is amazing that it peaks at 1400 watts and it's got 90 newton meters of torque huge huge motor very powerful motor for a trike wow just excited about that look at the button pad here guys this trike comes with blinkers okay i think the uh the rad power bike i believe had blinkers but most trikes don't uh, this one does so it's got a left right blinker you've got a horn button here as well as a bell it doesn't show the bell on here but it has a horn and a bell you have your buttons for your pass level and then you also have your power button down here speaking of blinkers if you look over here at the display look you got blinker indicators on the display which is another really nice nice little feature i mean no more you know turning your blinker on and then forgetting that it's that it's on you can easily see on display that it's, it's on there and it's flashing this trike folds up also so much like the electric xp now when i was comparing the specs it looks like this one is going to be about four inches or so longer than the electric xp and a couple of inches wider than the electric xp but okay that's to be expected because it is overall just a tad bigger longer i should say uh, seven inches longer than the electric XP. It's more narrow than the electric XP. And that is a little bit of concern for me. Um, we'll talk more about that in a moment. Uh, here, they're just saying it's a differential rear end, which is great. Uh, they're showing the parking brake system. Looks like it's pin activated. You just drop this pin and it locks the brakes in place. Uh, come over here. 
Uh, they're just talking about, you know, they use CNC lasers to cut the tube. Okay, that's all fine and good. Uh, over here we have af aircraft grade aluminum. Here they're showing the disc brakes. Now, unfortunately, these are mechanical disc brakes. They're, uh, they are tecto tetro, but they're mechanical. And guys, you know, here's my thought. I, I prefer hydraulic brakes because hydraulic brakes are easier to maintain. You don't have to go down there and adjust them as the pads start to wear out. That's the biggest thing. Uh, typically, hydraulic brakes will just stop you a lot better and a lot faster, easier to squeeze on that, on that handle grip. Um, but because they give you three brakes, okay, so you have them on each wheel, tells me that stopping power is not going to be an issue here. Okay, it's just not. Uh, it's just that as those brake pads wear out, after you start putting hundreds of miles on this thing, you may have to go and adjust each brake just a little bit to get it to, uh, uh, to function properly. So, yeah, I, I wished it had hydraulic, but I could live with uh, mechanical disc brakes. Um, let's see here. It does have suspension front fork, which I think is great. However, it looks like it is just a spring, not hydraulic. Again, that's fine. It's better than not having a fork at all. You know, it's better than the rigid fork that the electric XP comes with. 27 inches right here, 27 inches from ground to the lowest seat position. The electric XP is 30 inches. So this one will sit lower than the electric XP even. So hence, smaller you know, people, shorter people can more easily ride this trike. I like the handlebar, U-shaped design handlebar over here. I prefer that than a T-style handlebar. Uh, the tube diameter for the seat post is a little bigger at 31.6. And we have reflective tire, uh, reflective material on the tires, so it makes it more easily easy to see at night. These tires are 2.4 inches, I believe is what I saw online. So they are, they're not a you know, true fat tire that's like four inches, uh, but 2.4 is real similar to the electric XP because I think the electric XP has 2.3 so almost the same tire there um, so yeah good on them for that the rear tail light they're calling it a five-in-one tail light because it has the tail light it's got the brake light it's got blinkers uh, it's got a hazard some type of hazard light integrated with it so that's all real nice real quick here let's take a look at some of the specs on this page right here uh, 750 watt, 90 newton meters of torque, 20 amp hour battery, UL certified. Uh, let's see, 25 amp controller. It's a half twist throttle, which is great. Um, we have an integrated headlight, seven levels of pedal assist. I prefer seven or nine for pedal assist because it gives you more range when trying to select a, uh, a speed, especially when you're trying to ride with someone else who's riding a different type of bike. So that's great. Uh, water resistant connectors and wiring harness was expected. <clears throat> For a 20 amp hour battery, I would like to have seen a 3 point amp hour uh, charger. This one only comes with a 2.0, so it's a little small in the charger. Components, we'll take a quick look at that. Now you notice right here, this is the only difference between the mini and the standard, and that is the, the tires, which gives you a different uh, rider height. Again, don't pay attention to this right here because I am quite certain that people that are a lot taller than 5'9 will be able to ride this thing. Max load is 380 pounds. So here we go. Here's some of the specs. If you want to come out here and take a look at that, uh, it is smaller. It, it's 7 inches longer than, I believe it was 7, longer than the Electric XP. So just a little bit longer. But uh, the total width is 26 inches. So 26 inches wide. The electric XP is 30, 30 or 31 inches wide. So this one's going to be four or five inches more narrow, which in my mind is going to, it tells me that it could lead to being more tippy. Okay, that's my biggest concern because no one wants to get on a trike that's going to be, and they're all tippy, right? That's the stability is the biggest issue about trikes. But when you have a, you know, slightly longer, a little more narrow, I'm just not sure how that's going to function. And, and I can't wait to see some of the reviews that come out on this because uh, the last thing I want to do is put my wife on a trike that when she takes even just a small turn, that it wants to kind of tip over with her. So I don't know. That's my only question I have. A little concerned about that. We'll see. 
the bike comes in at 86 pounds, so heavy bike, but it's also got that big battery on there, so that accounts for some of that. Folded up, it is just a little bit bigger than the Electric XP, a little bit longer, a little bit wider by just a couple of inches, and that's it. So let's take a quick look before we go. Let's take a closer look at it. There's, this is the only picture that they have available. They don't have any other cockpit view pictures or anything. We can zoom in. And let's start back here at the rear. What I see, really nice knobby tires, not street tires. So, you know, a little off-road capability there. 180 newton meter disc on the rear. I don't see a cassette for the chain. Um, when we look at the handlebar, I don't see a shifter. So I think this is gonna be a one-speed trike, just like the electric XP. And let's see here, moving on, the controller is right here in the back. The battery is underneath your seat or underneath your saddle there. Uh, the seat, take a look at that real quick. It is adjustable up here. Most saddles, you can also adjust a little bit right here where it connects to the post. So it looks like that might be the case. It does have a quick connect, disconnect, so you can quickly adjust it and move it around. Uh, there's the crank. Don't know what size chain ring that is or anything on the crank. Uh, pedal here, can't really see it, can't really see the, uh, uh, how it folds or what that looks like there. Moving on up to the front, uh, same disc brakes, mechanical, probably plastic fenders, we don't know for sure. Moving on up, wiring harness does go inside the frame, which I always like to see. It looks like it's well wrapped, which I really like to see. I don't know what this is right here. Uh, we got a headlight with a reflector. And we have this. I don't know what that is. You know, my first thought was, oh, is that is that the electronic horn or something? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what this is right here. Moving on up, you can see that you can attach the basket here in the front. Of course, you can put a basket on the rear. This has a folding, uh, uh, folding stem, so you can shorten it a little bit, maybe if you want to put it in the back of an SUV or something. And it's adjustable stem, so you can kind of rotate this back and forth. That's about all you can do is rotate the handlebars back and forth. Wiring harness is going up. You can see there uh, brakes right here, brake handle. It's a half twist throttle. And that's all I see. I don't see a shifter at all, so I think it's one speed. This looks like the button pad over on the other handle over there. Uh, that's the other handle coming out the other side. Uh, so that's all there is to the cockpit. Pretty simple up there. All right, so that's, that is the brand new AdMotor E310. So, uh, can I get out of this? I can't get out of this. Get out of this. All right. Woo! I went too far. There we go. Click on it again. We're just going to stop right here on this page. Uh, yeah, so I don't think there's anything else here really to talk about. So, guys, tell me what you think. Here's my, my thoughts. I think it's $500 more than Electric XP. I think for $500, you're getting a lot more, okay? Uh, one, you're probably getting better quality overall. Um, mechanical brakes, okay. Much larger battery, much bigger motor, more torque, more power. Uh, it sits a little bit lower, so it's easier for a lot of people to get on and off. Um, looking at the electric trike over there, um, you know, turn signals, um, yeah. There's just a lot of things, a lot of things to like about this. And the biggest thing is overall quality. I think, I think it's gonna be much better quality. So for $500, is it worth it? Is this something you would buy over the Electric XP? Do you think it's gonna really affect the Electric XP sales? Because that is a very, very popular bike, or trike, I should say. Uh, I think it could. I think it's gonna eat away at that a little bit. And I think this is gonna be a great seller. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, ask them down below as well. And until the next video, ride safe.